Hi everybody! So, I finally got my wheel cleaned. We finally had some sunshine. Um, we've just been being pelted with rain and rain and thunderstorms and hail and the weather's been really crazy here. So, I finally had a nice day. Finally got my wheel cleaned. I'm just going to go over questions I've gotten asked a lot. Um, how my wheel's behaving uh, two years later, two-ish years later since I got it. And kind of what I like, what I don't like about it. Um, and yeah, and then I do have another wheel review that I did uh, almost a year after I got my wheel. Um, so I'll kind of briefly be covering some of the things I went over in that video. But if you want more detailed explanations and stuff, make sure to check out the description below. So one of the questions I get asked the most with this wheel is the tray. So I do have a removable tray. I thought it would be easier for me to be able to just take it out, spray it down with my hose and things like that. Um, but I did get a lot of questions on whether it moves around a lot, whether it's annoying to throw with, um, and so I was just going to go over that. Uh, I did get some questions about, uh, pedal speeds too, like if it's smooth transition between pedal speeds and stuff, so I will actually probably demo that and show you guys how smooth it is. I'll probably just go over things I've noticed it changing in the two years, um, if anything, if I need to fix anything, if it needed any repairs, things like that, um. That's what we're going to be going over in this video. So I did want to show you talking about the tray in particular. It is removable, so this does come off. Um, but as you can see, it does have... A little bit of a lip right here and this rim kind of comes up a little ways so it actually fits pretty tight and when I'm leaning on it and stuff I mean you can kind of hear it a little bit um, but I actually don't cone as much as I just push the center and kind of you know use a lot of force on the wheel so um, if anyone were going to complain about the uh, tray moving out around it probably would be how I center and anyways I want, did want to say though that I haven't really had any trouble with it I mean sometimes there's like a little movement but not enough to throw off my um, center or anything like that I haven't had any issues with it so one of the other questions I got asked a lot is speed the pedal speed and how it transitions so I'm actually gonna demo how it does and I do have the upgraded version of the motor so it does have a smoother transition it moves pretty easy between each speed I'm not really having to put much pressure on the wheel um, it is a little less smooth than it used to be but I think most of that is just the pedal and the fact that I've been using it a lot and it does have clay cake to it so um, but as far as like actually getting to the speed you want with the pedal, it's pretty easy. So it's a couple days later. Um, I have another artist coming in and that's so I'm kind of working this video around um, them coming and doing the art and stuff. So I kind of went over the big FAQ questions that I get for the wheel and I hope that answers them. Um, feel free to leave a comment though and I'll try to get back to you. So this is going to be like a brief overview of my pros and cons of the wheel and whether any of them have changed or are different from what they originally were when I reviewed this wheel about uh, nine months after getting it. So the first pro that I had was the deep tray um, and it is still a pro. I love having it for the winter when I don't have access to the running water and can't clean it out as often and kind of have to just wait for those sporadic sunny days in the winter uh, which don't happen very often in my area. So. Um, I do still really like the deep tray for that. Um, it's still a little difficult for me to manage because of my size. I'm, I'm a tiny person, uh, only about 5'1". And so moving that around is kind of hard to do, um, you know, when it's full of clay and things like that. So that hasn't changed at all. It's still about the same. Another one of my pros for the wheel was that it was easy to take apart and easy to clean. Now. It's still pretty easy for me to clean, to take it out, to hose it down, things like that. Um, I don't really have any issue with that. However, uh, a con that has recently developed with this wheel, and I just wanted to make sure to put it out there in case it was something you were looking into. So we're looking at about like 18 months since I got the wheel for the first time. And 
The wheel head is a lot harder to take off. Um, I didn't really have a problem with, you know, twisting and popping it off when I first got it. Um, however, the longer I've used it, the wheel head's just getting harder and harder and harder for me to like twist and pop off. Now, I will say that, like I said, I am a tiny person, 5'1". Um, I don't have a lot of muscle, <laughs> you know, besides what's needed for, you know, throwing pottery and stuff. Um, so it's just really hard for me to get um, a good like center of gravity to be able to twist and pull at the same time to get that wheel head off and at first it wasn't a big deal um, it take me like one or two tries to get it off and it was fine and um, it was easy to clean and take apart however now that I've been using it for about 18 months it is a lot harder to get that wheel head off and I usually end up struggling with it for like five ten minutes before I can actually get it off um, so I did want to say that that it did get a little harder to take the wheel head off. And then one of my other pros in the last video was that it had no tech issues. And that still continues to be the truth. I haven't had any issues with it. I haven't had any service needing to be done on it. I haven't had any difficulty with it whatsoever. It's still been working great even like 18 months later. And then one of the other pros was, you know, the, the speeds. And I showed you that in the video kind of with one of my FAQs. I really don't have any problem with it. I don't have any problem with it sticking. I don't have any problem with it sliding to a different speed after I leave it. You know, it's not as smooth as it was when I first got it. But then again, my pedal is kind of like caked in clay and stuff and so some of that might just be that you know the pedal needs a good cleaning and like I said it's not really a noticeable difference um I do mainly use like two speeds when I'm throwing kind of like a faster speed and a slower speed and it just stays put I don't have to leave my foot on the pedal I don't have any issues with cha the speed changing randomly on me and that's still really good and a huge pro for this wheel and then one of my cons for the in the last video was that it was loud that is still a con i think it might have gotten louder <laughs> since i got the wheel um and like i don't know if it's just because i use it i mean it is the wheel i use the most in the studio it is you know it's just um i'm just wondering if that just happens to be because it's just used so frequently um it's not a huge deal if i film far enough away but a lot of times I am filming right next to my wheel to get those good pulling, you know, and shaping shots. And it is just really loud. And a lot of times I just have to turn the sound off. I know I had difficulty when I was trying to do like a tutorial on how to throw the octopus shaped mugs. I ended up having to voice over part of it. And it was really hard to hear what I was saying over the sound of the wheel because it was so close to it. So that's still a con and that's still something that I'm going to be looking for if I get another wheel I'm gonna be looking for one that's a little quieter just for video recording and things like that overall it's an awesome wheel and I'm glad that I bought it so even 18 months later not a lot has changed um, besides the wheel head getting harder to pull off for me and getting harder to like take the whole wheel apart and and one of the awesome things is I really haven't had to have any service on it haven't had any issues with it it's done what it needs to do and yeah I wanted to let those who watch my videos frequently know that my uploading schedule is going to be a little sporadic in the next like couple of weeks, probably like halfway through June. Um, I don't know how often or how regularly I'm going to be able to upload videos. I was not expecting to, but I got into all the juried art shows that I applied to, and because of that, I'm going to be having to make a ton, ton work, and I won't necessarily have the time to like edit the videos. So I'm still going to be recording um, when I have the time, and I still have a lot of video ideas that I want to get through. I do want to record like how I'm prepping for the show and, and things like that. I definitely am still working on the Mishima. I'm definitely still working on... Um, working with the other artists and making the octopus mugs. Um, so all of that is being recorded and stuff. The problem is is that with making all this work, I don't have the time to sit down and edit and turn it into a video. So with that in mind, I am going to kind of give myself a little bit of a break for the next, uh, I'd probably say five weeks. Um, so you might get a video here and there if I happen to get the time to edit, but um, it probably is not going to be a regular uploading. It's not going to be once a week like I normally do. It's definitely going to be um, a little bit more sporadic, um, if at all. And um, rest assured, after those shows are over, I will be resuming uh, my weekly uploading videos and schedules. Um, but my social media is kind of going to take a little bit of a break. So, yeah. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.